Greetings and welcome to Project High Rise. I am Catherine of Sky, and today we're going to play a new scenario. And I thought about doing the This is Depressing scenario. It takes place in the Great Depression, and some of the conditions they hint at is that the banks will only offer loans on a short term, high interest basis, and uh, construction will be cheaper. And utilities will also be cheaper. So that's a good thing. So let's get into the game first thing. So we can start planning out our our um, building here. I have not played this scenario before, by the way. So this is the first time looking at it. Okay, so we need to have 200 people living or working in the tower. This is for bronze. And have $50,000 on hand. Oh, okay. The second metal ups that to 75000 on hand. And having a population of 300 and we need 12 prestige stars, uh, but gold requires us to have 100 office workers and 100 apartment residents. So it looks like they are asking us to split up the population. Currently, I have zero apartment residents and, okay, so 0% of 35 prestige stars. So that's, a lot of the games are asking us to get these prestige stars. Um, well, that's very interesting. It looked like it started out with $20,000, and now I have $10,000. Interesting. Okay, um, so what I want to do first is I'm looking at these elevators, and I don't really like the way they're arranged. I would like to have a minimum of 15 tiles on this side. Let's see the entire building. Okay, so we can go almost to this... Uh, I wonder if it scales, but almost to this building right over here. So ideally, I'd like to have um, elevator shafts in the middle of this building. I was thinking of maybe making, uh, depending on, on how far I want them from the ends, doing like a central column of utilities and leaving space for like garbage and recycling. So something like five tiles between the elevators or um, thereabouts. Um, two elevator shafts is going to allow us to um, basically avoid some of the complaints that people make of, oh, the elevator's broken, I can't get there. So let us, I'm going to first delete all of these extra elevators because they do cost, okay, they do cost money per day. They cost 63 uh, dollars per day, which is, is not too bad. That's lower than a lot of the other scenarios I've been playing. And I've noticed that we want at least 15 tiles from the end. That's about the limit of elevator access. Uh, I wonder if it will show us here. Okay, so these, wow, these, um, let's see if I turn this on time go somewhere no okay fine um yeah this is obviously still still going this way but i i count counted previously and it's about 15 tiles from the elevator which indicates elevator closeness so i'm going to kind of count and see where that lands me uh and i'll just put a marker on the top of the building so this is three six nine twelve fifteen so this is 15 right here uh, and then from this side, we want three, six, uh, wait, 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 three, two, three, six, nine, two, three, twelve, one, two, three, fifteen. So that would put the elevator here. So that's actually quite a good chunk between these places. I don't, oh, shoot, I forgot to look up what is the... Um, the length of the longest, uh, what do you call it, tenant. I think like large restaurants are quite, quite big. I think I'm going to actually move these, um, these placement markers closer toward the inside because you only need the first tile of an office or a, a, a tenant to be within the elevator range. So I'm going to move them at least... Let's see, four up. One, two, three, four. Okay. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. And that'll give us a little bit more on the side, but man, that still looks a little bit short. Okay, I'll just whack it down another three forward. And there we go. So this is pretty much arbitrary. So I would like an elevator shaft here and here. Uh, 
toward the inside of these things. And I will not construct the elevator shaft yet because uh, right now this is basically where um, the money is and I do not want to spend a lot of extra money. So we're going to have an elevator shaft flush with this side of the building and this is going to be built up later. Please don't, please ignore that. Please ignore these guys. I'm not going to delete them because it's money. You know, I just paid for them. So we're not going to do that. But eventually this all, um, elevator shaft will be removed. And I think I'll have the utilities running along this side. I'll put this elevator shaft in first. Uh, in fact, I will put one marker there. That'll be okay. Uh, and shove it in. And I will have the utilities to the left side uh, of this shaft. So let me just put those in right now and we'll have it going up like this. Water as well, just so we know where everything goes. It's very, very important to have a marker and not go past the boundaries that you've set for yourself. All right, first things first, let us build a cafe or something. Um, people want places to eat and lobbies are great places to put uh, fast food restaurants, lunch, lunch, and lunch. All right, that's fine. Oh, wow. The rent on these guys is so tiny. Um, we'll just put in two for now and we'll get some offices going. So again, we're going to skip the three for the elevator and then plonk in some offices. All right. That's just fine. And later these squares may or may not get used for other things. So I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Legal offices. What? Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. These amounts are tiny. Oh no. All right. They want courier copy services and phone lines. So let us put in phone lines. Let's see. Wow. Those are pretty cheap. The, the rates on these uh, phone lines and such are very, very cheap. So let's just buy a small phone exchange at the moment <clears throat> or a switchboard uh, and chuck it right there. And let's get one of the services they asked for, uh, which I already forgot. Let's see. What was it again? They want courier and copy. And these people want also courier and copy. These guys, do they, do we have any? No, they don't want to move here. So courier and copy services. I will just shove those in and they'll go down here. I like to keep this first <clears throat> basement level, mostly for utilities, if I possibly can. Courier and copy. There it is. Boom. And I probably, oh, silly me, I forgot to put in the, the elevator shaft. Okay, that was not good. Yep, sorry guys, gotta move out. Apologize. Okay. And the elevator goes here and we will put it to the side of that. So let me put in my uh, wiring closet here. Oh, okay. It wants to, all right, guys, clear the boxes. Hurry up, please. Hurry. <clears throat> Just wait for them to, to do their work. Basically, they're clearing out the boxes because I just evicted these guys. Um, come on, guys. Do stuff. Hurry. Daylight's a-wasting. All right. Great. So <clears throat> I'll put this here when they move. And the water plumbing closet will also go there. And we'll make the courier and copy services again and we'll leave space for the elevator because we definitely want that um and here's a copy service good and now we must uh draw across some utilities so we get some electricity going on in here and in the office floors as well so and i want that should be good for now let's see if, if anybody's unhappy so let's get, um, wow, these don't pay much at all. I, I've never thought that an accounting office would pay the most of all of these. Wow. Oh my God. Jeez. 
Holy fuzzy cats. That's the other thing I usually say. <laughs> so 90. Wow, we're these okay, accountants. You just shove yourselves in. Go right ahead. 88 is okay too. Hey. This is pretty rough looking, to be honest. It's really rough. So let's just uh, get some more people moved in. And I think I really need to move these elevators. You know what? I'm just going to move them because it is pointless to, to have them just loitering here. And we'll take a hit on the money, but at least we will be able to um, build freely and not have to reserve spaces. So let me just get in these other offices moved in. Okay, we're not doing too badly. This is okay. But it looks like we're going to have to have quite a lot of um, throughput of, of rent and offices in here. Okay, these people want phone lines here. And I need a telephone exchange. I did build one. Okay, good. And down here we're going to need some... That. Good, good, good. And I will see which other offices also require phones. Because this is pretty, pretty rough already. It's starting. Okay, and I'll just make these offices. Okay, did I skip a space? I did. Luckily, I did not move anyone in yet. Uh, so they can be okay. Eight. That's not a lot. Dang. All right, that's fine. We will, we will learn. We will adapt. We are Borg. Well, not not mostly today, but maybe uh, another time. So this one. Oh, good. Okay, so this elevator is going to be flush with this side. Good. We are lucky. We we have enough spaces there to go, and we need more power immediately. Okay, I think it's ten more lines. That's going to be. Hmm. 250. Uh, okay, I'll just make another small transformer for now. Let's see what the loans look like. Wow. Uh, okay, emergency stabilization loan. 14 payments of 400, and it's only 5,000. Okay, and the rest of the loans look like they are not available at all. Oh, I gained a star. Excellent. That gal tells me stuff. That's very nice of her. I'm glad she's she's here so we can rely on her and yeah, it's all good. Okay, so these people need electricity. I didn't run those yet. That's okay. We'll do it. All right. See if I got some. I did. Okay, accounting offices. Wow. So little money. Oh, detective services. Awesome. Great. So this is a 93. That's not too bad. 80 and 80. I'll just take it. And these guys need a phone. I think this guy does as well, if I remember correctly. Okay. Well, that's good. We're we're getting happily moved in. This is awesome quite pleased about that. And how about you? What are we going to move in here? 78? Eep. That, that's like not, not good. Is that? Oh, still some uh, like cement and a little mixer trowel there. Okay. He hadn't finished there yet. Don't worry. I'm not rushing you, dude. It's okay. And I have no ma maintenance office at the moment, but uh, that's all right. We're not uh, too worried about that. Good. We're making 610 a day. That is excellent. It is very, very, very good. So let's add another floor. I think I'm going to make uh, apartments. I think it would be good to make some kind of apartments so that we can start splitting off between having uh, offices and having apartment dwellers. It's pretty critical to, to have those. And I'll, hopefully they, they line up okay. 
I know that apartments need uh, water and okay it was just rain they need water and garbage services so we've got to make sure to have those available for them so let's see I want to build cautiously though because I don't want this to go away let's see about yeah energy I pretty much think I just need to build one uh, transformer and call it good have 50 um, 50 connections I think I'll just do that I'm just gonna take this off and delete these guys or, or put, put a bigger one in that has 50 connections and delete those that'll make it a lot easier and phones how are we doing on those we have okay we have seven left which is not bad I know that apartments do not require phones so at least uh, the low-level ones do not I wonder if the high-level ones do. I can't remember if they do or not. Uh, last time I played this game, it was the Flatiron Project, which is also um, a series that I have on my uh, channel, which you can watch. And uh, it was... Basically, I had no apartments whatsoever. Okay, elevator shaft is broken down there. That's unfortunate. It's okay, though. We are going to build things here and stuff. So let's build a couple of these suites. And that could go there. And let's see if we can't find a nice space for the garbage. And probably the garbage will go right there. Excellent. So we'll just build two floors of these. I found I, I played one of these games, one of the scenarios where the, uh, the biggest thing to do was mostly move in, um, here, let me get utilities and stuff, mostly move in people. And to do that, you had to have a lot of, uh, basically I made a lot of one bedroom apartments, lots of them. So let me get a bin. Can I do a bin? trash bin? Yes, I can. All right, I'm going to do one at a time. So an elevator is going to live there. And this is one space away from the apartment. So I should be able to... Oh, but we have no water. Oh, no. All right, I do have... That's not a water connection. Hey, okay, well, let us fast forward then and get a little bit of money. I might have to just, uh, how much do these rent for? They rent for 121 a day. So if I got that stabilization loan, and I'm always tempted to take a loan initially because, well, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, take it. Um, basically with four of these, we'll definitely be able to pay that loan. It's pretty important that we do. Now let's see, I need water. So let's have that six. And four is 10, excellent. So this will fill up the one water meter. And I just need to make sure and connect it. At least six of these uh, rooms. Just wanna be real cautious and make sure I have all the things necessary uh, to connect even a partial amount of rooms. Okay. And this will also leave room for a recycle bin as well. One, good. These are all connected, I believe, with power. Yes, they have power. And water. These two are connected with water. So let's just rent these. And hopefully... Let's see what else they require. Water, electrical line, and water pipe, and trash bins. Okay, so they don't need any special services. That's good to know. So these guys have electricity. Just need to drag the water across. Okay, there we go and I will rent these as well so now there is no danger of them moving out this is very very good we're very excited about that I think it's time to build a little bit more floors uh, of the floor one two three four one two three four one two three four 
and one, two, three, and four, and another one, two, three, four. Good. So this is going to give us offices here. So I will be delighted to extend the uh, electricity that way. If I'm counting correctly, hopefully it will be able to work. Wow, this is pretty cheap to spread down that way. It's good to know. All right, all the people have moved in. Yay, hello. All right, guys, construction guys, get working. Do stuff. All right, and water is... Wow, how can these guys use 10 demand of water? What the heck is going on? This, these are four apartments that have one person. So one person cannot be using more than one faucet at a time, one would presume. I mean, unless they're running a bath and washing the dishes at the same time, but that's never a good idea. We all know that. All right, we'll shove another water meter in here. Okay. Well, despite any of that, I'm still making a profit even after night fell. So let us build, I'm going to build an elevator shaft right here. All right. And that way this middle section will get serviced by the elevators easily. And we'll still have spaces for offices on the left here. All right. So I will plonk these down three and four. Perfect. Ended up really perfectly. Great. All right. And we have electricity. So let's uh, shove in some of these, some of these guys. Actually, we'll wait for these ads to go through. And then we will continue next time. Unfortunately, I've run out of time for this episode. But thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.